Good afternoon. It's time for your farm and ranch news. I'm Haley Ship, and today's program coming to you from the Nile. Of course, this is going on in Billings through this weekend, but coming up on Friday, we do have a special celebration for the Montana Angus Auxiliary. Now, you guys have been together for 50 years now. Melanie Lund, you are the president of the auxiliary. Why don't you tell me more about it? Yes, the Montana Angus Auxiliary was established in 1960, so we're 50 years old. We will be having our celebration on uh, Friday at 3 p.m. at the Billings Depot, and we're inviting all women and cattle women to come join us in that celebration. Absolutely, and the auxiliary, why don't you tell me more about what you guys have worked towards in the last 50 years? I know you're a lot about developing our youth and, and getting their feet under them when it comes to college and things like that. Yes, um, we've come up with uh, this book that uh, tells about the auxiliary as well to celebrate our last 50 years. And in there, um, basically, we start with our goals. And our goals are to promote Angus, to support our youth, and to basically just offer friendship for all cattle women. Okay, and I know that uh, we've had some national leaders in Montana, as well as, of course, different auxiliary officers throughout the years. This book showcases those. I mean, how many women are we talking about that have made such an impact in the Angus big business, sort of behind the scenes, but definitely very proactive in this auxiliary? Yes, well, we've had, gosh, I couldn't tell you exactly how many uh, state presidents, but we have had four national presidents, um, and many probably are familiar with Janice Midland, who is, you know, a president here at the Nile as well. But um, those four national presidents brought Montana a lot of um, accolades. And now as the accolades are coming towards you guys, obviously you are very deserving of them. Why don't we step into some of the programs that the Women's Auxiliary does focus on during the year? Okay, the Angus Auxiliary uh, has two scholarships in conjunction with the Montana Angus Association. Um, those are $1,000 scholarships that are available to one young man and one young woman graduating high school seniors. Uh, we also have a belt buckle program and a jacket program that we offer to kids at the county fair level. If they win um, with a cow calf pair or a beef breeding uh, project of some sort, then they they get a beautiful Montana silversmith belt buckle. And how do people find out more information about the Montana Auxiliary, whether it, they want to get involved with it or if they have a kid that wants a scholarship? Yes, that's a great question. We are located at www.mtangus.org. And you just click on the auxiliary link, and that will give you all the information. We'd love to have more women involved. You can find out how to join. You can also find out the um, ordering information of this auxiliary book. All right, thank you so much again. That is Melanie Lund. She is the president for the Montana Angus Auxiliary. Stay with us. I'll have your markets right after this. This is the engine that connects abundant grain from the American heartland to Aaron's best-selling whole wheat while keeping 60 billion pounds of carbon out of the atmosphere every year. BNSF, the engine that connects us. This is the engine that connects zero emission technologies to breathing a little easier while taking 4.6 million truckloads off the road every year. BNSF, the engine that connects us. Montanans have their own definition of what's important in life. A hard day's work is a good day's work. Trust is built on years of experience and success. And loyalty should be unwavering and resolute. In Montana, having integrity means something more. Stockman Bank was born from these principles, and they continue to guide the way we do business every day. Stockman Bank. Montana Banking. Pure and simple. Welcome back to your farm and ranch news. Again, we're broadcasting today from the Nile, going on in Billings through this weekend. As we look towards some of the cattle markets, definitely top of mind for everybody here. We've been watching that corn market climb upwards. Well, this morning at the open, we did see the feeder cattle futures open lower in response. Higher corn numbers there across the board, about 25 cents higher. In fact, even that overnight trade, and that is weighing on some of those feeder cattle markets. But on the good side, that's also bringing up the wheat markets some as well. Looking to a local livestock auction, we did see in Mile City, Mile City Livestock on Tuesday, about 1,700 head of cattle run through there. Four to five weight steers topping at 137.50, and the five to six weight steers with a top of 123. For more markets, visit our website, northernag.net. With your farm and ranch news, I'm Haley Ship.